Hello. How's everybody doing today? been so long I've done one of these I've not organized at all at all just gonna wait a little bit see if anybody hops on say hi so that I know you're here Hello, hello. Okay, for those of you that do not know me, my name is Paula Jewison. You are watching this live on my VIP page. If you see that little red live button up in the corner, that means we are live now. And at any time during this live, you can tap my face, the screen, and then you'll see three little dots on the upper right hand corner. If you tap on that, I think it should give you an option to follow me or request to be added. That or just send me a comment here requesting to be added and I can add you. Pretty much though, I think it's a closed group, so if you're watching, you have been added already, okay? Feel free to share this so I can network outside my circle so I can get into your circle in case there's some people that you know that would be like, you know, interested in unique, All right? Okay, you can also like me and follow me on my business page, Paula the Makeup Lady. Um, I go under that on Pinterest, on YouTube, and on Facebook, I have a Paula the Makeup Lady page, all right? Okay, today I'm gonna do full makeup. I have no eyebrows on so I'm going to show you how to do my brows also um, today I'm going to use my touch mineral touch foundation in the color velour I'm fairly pale um, I also use taffeta if I've been out in the sun but I haven't been out in the sun lately it's been hot and yeah I haven't been out in the sun so what I'm going to do is for primer today, I am just going to spray my face with our Behold Setting Spray. I do that a lot. And I'm just going to give it a fine mist. It dries instantly. It's not sticky. Your eyelashes aren't going to stick together. It's not like hairspray or anything. I call it hairspray for your makeup, but it's really not hairspray okay all right so we're gonna let that dry a little bit and that will act as a primer that will provide a barrier between my skin and my makeup um, on hot muggy days it's very important to wear your primer or to spray your face with setting spray so that when you do sweat um, it doesn't come to the surface and melt your makeup off your face okay all right, so this is mineral-based makeup, so you do need to squeeze out what's in there and shake it up because it will separate. Now, mineral-based makeup uses real minerals in their product. A lot of our products are mineral-based. That's why you're going to pay a little extra. When you buy, um, like, CoverGirl... Maybelline, um, products like that, they have synthetic properties, okay? Um, imitation mineral, all right? That's why they can sell it at a lower price. This is real, so like Sephora, um, places like that, you're going to pay more money because they use the real thing, all right? But you're going to use less and it's going to be better for your skin. So shake it up really good. Again, this is the color Velour. And 
if nobody comes on my live and says hi, you're just all going to have to watch it on the replay, I guess. All right, I like to use a brush to apply my foundation. Um, this one happens to be our concealer, our powdered concealer brush. You can buy this on my website. It's under tools. And I like it because it's really, really soft and because it's got this small end here, which helps me get under my eyes, between my brows and my lids. Very, very nice brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add three drops on my brush. Just three drops. This product goes a long, long way. All right. And I think I'm going to add a little concealer for added coverage. Now our concealer comes in a tube and it's really thick. It's going to last you a long time because a little bit goes a long way. All right. And I think I want a little extra glow in my skin. So I'm going to use some of our liquid luminizer. Okay. I'm just adding all that to my brush. And then I'm just going to plop it on. Like so. And I don't have to worry about my brows because I don't have them on yet. Alright. And just go around in a circular motion like so. Don't forget your ears. It's very important to get your ears. Get up by your hairline. And I have bangs, so I'm not going to worry too much about what it looks like up there. But if you wear your hair back, make sure you get up along your hairline. Okay? Get your lids. Right. and just go around and around in circles. And the more you blend, the better it is with mineral-based makeup. Okay? And get your lids. This is where this little brush is really nice. Get under your eyes. Okay? And I usually do my lives around 10 or 10.30 in the morning because I put my makeup on before I go bartend. And I've had some people ask me, they're like, well, why don't you do your lives at night? You'll get more viewers. Well, true. I'd probably get more viewers. But in reality, how many of those viewers would be actually interested in the product or just on just, you know, trolling or just watching to be nosy. And another reason why this is good quality makeup. And you pay a little extra for it and I just don't want to put it on my face to wash it off and go to bed. I'm going to wear this makeup. I'm going to show it off. I'm going to go to work and I'm going to wear this makeup and get my use out of it. So most of my lives are going to be during the day or late mornings. Okay, so that's all blended in. I have good coverage. I also have a little glow to my face because of that luminizer. That luminizer is really good stuff. You can buy the liquid. You can buy it in powder form. And we have all different shades. And you can also buy cream to powder. It comes in a stick like this. It goes a long way. And luminizer is fun. Just adds a little healthy glow to your face. Okay. So I have my foundation done. So now I'm going to do my brows. All right. And I'm going to be using our brow liner. It's like a pencil. Very thin. It turns out you don't have to sharpen it at all. I'm using the color 
medium, which is a brunette slash auburn color. Very thin, and it's got a spoolie on the other end so that you can comb through what you do have or you can blend also. Okay? All right. So what you want to do is you want to line up alongside your nose and this is where your brows are supposed to start, okay? So what I do is I make a mark like so. And then I go to the other side, all right? And I do the same thing. And that's just a suggested starting point for your brows. If you want a perfect symmetrical look for your face, they say that is where they're supposed to start. All right? So then what I do is I just kind of connect. I kind of go over to where my natural brow starts. And I kind of go up. Okay? Like so. And then I kind of just go along my natural brow line. And you can make them as thin as you want. You can make them as thick as you want. And just kind of fill it in. Fill it in. Now I've also used our cream shadow as brow gel. And I'll show you which one I use. Very, very good to use. Faithful. Okay. This is a light brown. We also have a darker brown, Proud, if you're a darker brunette. But that works really good. It goes on as a cream and it dries to a powder, so it's very easy to control. Okay. So just fill in. Like so. So there's one brow. Okay. So now I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm just going to go kind of up and over to where it meets my natural brow. Like so. And I'm going to go with the flow here. Okay. And then I'm going to kind of connect the bottom. And your brows probably are not going to match. Even your natural brows probably are not an exact match. And what we like to say is they're sisters, but they're not twins. Okay. And it takes a little time. Just keep playing around with it until you're satisfied. Okay, like so. Alright, so that's that. Now, if you want to add a little more definition, we also have this Brow Obsession Palette. This is the color Brunette. We have a blonde palette, and we also have a dark um, brunette or black palette. And I like to use my Brow Artist Brush. It's angled on one end, and it's flat on the other. And you can also get that on my website. And what I like to do is I'll dip into this darker color here. Okay? And you kind of want to add a little depth, kind of make little strokes. Make little strokes to mimic hairs. And 
and that's where this brush is really really nice dip it in the wax here just a little bit you don't want your eyebrows to be shiny so be careful with the wax just dip the end in and then just tap I've had this since October of last year so it's gonna last you a long time and you just make little little marks to mimic hair brows like so see see how realistic that is Now you got some brows and the first time you do it it's scary it's scary but the more you do it the more natural it's going to look on your face and you're just going to get used to having brows so much that you're probably not going to want to leave the house without them once you start doing them now in order to set my brows make sure they stay on and they don't go anywhere I use once again I use our setting spray I use this a lot and you just want to finely mist and it dries instantly so don't worry it's not gonna make anything run off your face all right so now our brows are done and once again if you're just tuning in we have a brow obsession palette um, blonde brunette and dark brunette that you can get these down here are highlighters that you can clean up under your brow and to highlight um, underneath right here good product lasts a long time and this is our brow liner it's got a spoolie on one end and it's got a very fine tipped pencil on the other okay I like to outline and start things going with this and then as I showed you I like to kind of fill in with the brow palette okay so now they're all done so now today I have a little purple on, a little purple action. So I'm going to use this palette. And if you like purple, you're going to love this palette. This is what we call a quad. You get four eyeshadows of your choice in this quad. Sorry, I have somebody calling me. And you can pick out any four colors that you want. We have all kinds of colors to choose from. Um, I don't have all of them. I don't have nearly all of them. But I have quite a few. Okay. All kinds of mattes, shimmers, all kinds of colors. And what we're going to do is today, if you're interested in any of these colors, we're going to start with Hesitant. And it's kind of like a matte, um, dusty, rosy pink color. Okay. And then in the crease area, I'm going to use Agile. And this is like a dark, dark mauve color. But it's got a little sheen to it. It's kind of got a sparkle to it. I don't know if you can see that or not. And I'm going to put that in my crease area. Okay? And then to darken things up in the outer corner, I'm going to go in with this shimmery, rich purple color, which is Credulous. Okay, and then on the inner part of my eyelid here in the middle, and maybe up under my brow, I'm not sure, I might just use my powder highlighter, but I'm going to use Slick. Okay, pretty, pretty palette, if you like purple. Alright, so to start, we're going to put a base on our eyes. Now these are infused with primer. You do not have to add primer to your lids. They have primer in them you're gonna get a lot of color very little product a lot of color alright so I'm gonna go kinda of all over the lid area and I'm gonna kinda of keep right under the brow bare because that's where I'm going to add my highlight alright so I'm just gonna use a brush here and I'm gonna tap into that hesitant that matte pink alright and I'm just gonna go all over the lid area and this is our transition color this color is just going to be our base and all the other colors are going to blend into this okay 
all right? And I tapped very little product under there. That's all I did. These are going to last you a long time. You can get four colors in a quad, and they're $52 on my website. And I will pin my website in the comments to this live. And we're just putting a base on here. Don't be shy. Say hi. I can talk and put makeup on at the same time. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I am prepared for cooler weather. I love summer. I love the longer days. I love the birds. I love the butterflies. I love the bees. I love all that. But it is so muggy, and the older I get, the worse it is. I just want to open my windows. I want to open my windows. So I am welcoming cooler weather. All right, so we have our base on. This is hesitant. So now I'm going to go into our crease area. And I think I'm going to use our crease brush. It's a little stiffer here. And I'm going to kind of just condense it right in the deep crease area here. And then I'm going to blend it out. And I'm going to go in to this color here, Agile. All right. And I'm just going to tap that on. See? Just tapped it. And what I want to do is I want to kind of go one, two, three in the corner here. And then go up. and I'm just applying the color, I will be blending this out. Now I have a partially hooded eye, meaning my upper lid kind of drops down onto my lower lid. And I want you to see that color that I'm putting in the middle. So I'm gonna go a little above my crease area so that when my eyes are open, you can see that color, okay? And once again, this is agile and it's got a little bit of a sheen to it not much and we're just kind of going back and forth and using little, little circles kind of pulling it up a little okay Right? Okay. So I have that one done. So now I'm going to tap into the other one. And I'm going to go one, two, three. Kind of go up in the crease. And once again, I'm going to go a little above it because. I have a partially hooded eye. And I'm leaving that space right under the brow alone because that's where I'm going to put my highlight, okay? If you want to make it a little darker, go ahead and make it a little darker. And we're just adding the color. And I'm going to blend it out with my blending brush, okay? Blend, blend, blend. Okay, so now 
I'm gonna take a blending brush, a unique blending brush, as a matter of fact, and I'm just gonna lightly, very lightly, kind of blend that out so that that harsh line there is kind of faded out. And I'm gonna be adding more color here in the corner. I'm gonna add a darker color there. I'm gonna add a little drama. See how nice that looks once you blend it out? And this brush is so soft, look at that. I've had this brush since October and it does not lose any of its bristles. It's a good brush, good quality. Okay, and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna soften this up. I'm just gonna soften that harsh line up here. Kind of go back and forth. And you can see it softening. And I'm leaving that space up above for my highlight. Okay. All right. See? Looks nice so far. So now I'm going to apply color to my lid. And this has got a little sheen to it. Little sheen, slick. And what I'm actually going to do is I think I'm going, it's called foiling. I'm going to dampen my brush and then I'm going to pick up that color. All right. And I'm just going to pat it on. Very, very nice color. And if you wanted to, you could probably take some concealer and put it on your lid there so that when you add this color, it would pop. I've seen that done too. Once you get your crease color in, they kind of put concealer on their lid before they add color. And I'm just tapping it on. See that? See that shimmer? It's really pretty. Really pretty. I'm gonna go over here. My brush is still wet, so I don't have to worry about spraying it. like so so now I'm going to tap into that dark purple that credulous and I'm going to put that in the outer corner okay and I'm just going to tap it I'm going to tap it in the crease just tap it on the outer corner, I'm kind of making a little triangle. See? So now I'm going to tap into the other one. And I'm going to start here. And I'm just tapping it on. Kind of coming out like so. In the shape of a triangle. tapping it. See how dense that color is? Awesome color. Awesome, awesome color. Okay, so then once again, blending brush, and we're just gonna twirl it. I don't want that color to go anywhere else other than the corner here. 
So I'm not going to drag it over the whole eye. I'm just going to gently See? And do the same thing over here. Just twirling it around very gently. Okay. And we're going to clean up with some concealer under there, so you don't have to worry about that. All right. Okay, so now I want to add my highlight. I'm just going to clean this brush off here, and then I am going to get our powdered luminizer. This is the color iridescent. It's the lightest color we have. And I'm going to tap that on under my brow area. Just going to kind of very lightly. See? It just adds a little something. See that? Versus over here. Do the same thing here. See? And if you want to, you can add a little bit on the inner corner of your eye, kind of brighten up that area. Like so. Kind of brighten things up. All right. And then if you wanted to, you could take your blending brush and just kind of very lightly blend that together. All right, like so, and there you have it. That's all I'm gonna do, okay? Just use these four colors here, all right? So that's done. So now I'm going to add my concealer, and this is very thick. And this is what's nice about adding your concealer after, after you do your eyes. You can clean up. So I just kind of dot it out. Hi, Tammy. Just kind of dot it out, and I'm almost running out of this. Going to have to do some more. Just kind of dot it out and drag it down. Drag it down to the shape of a V in the front of your face. Kind of highlights that area there. And then do the same thing over here. Very thin layer. Drag it down like that. And then I like to highlight the top of my nose, like so. Okay? So now what I'm going to do with this is I'm kind of going to spread it around on my face before I tap it out with a sponge. I'm going to find, here we go. Just get a flat brush. Make sure it's clean. Just a little flat brush like this. And I'm actually going to spray it because this concealer is very thick, very thick. And I'm just going to kind of drag it out where I want it on my face. And then I'm going to kind of clean up here any fallout, all right? Like so. And we'll do the same thing over here. Kind of your eye area. Bring it down. And then once again, I'm going to clean it up over here. Okay. 
Okay. And then on my nose. And you'll have to forgive me. I'm looking in my phone like it's a mirror so that you see what I'm doing. And then what I like to do is I kind of like to go above my brow area and kind of clean that area up. And then over here, do the same thing. It's really thick. A little bit goes a long way. Have that blend it out the way I want. So now I'm going to get a sponge and I'm going to dampen that. This stuff is a necessity. I use it all while I'm applying my makeup. Okay, so now I'm just going to tap, okay? I'm just tapping it in there. And I'm going to bring some purple down under my eye. Just tap, tap, tap. And this concealer will cover anything. You can add it to your foundation for extra coverage. And you can use it as highlight. It'll cover scars. It'll cover freckles. Um, birthmarks, rosacea, broken vessels sometimes we get in our cheek area because our skin gets a little thinner as we get older. And I'm just tapping it out. Tap, tap, tap. Alright. Okay, so now we have that on. So now what you want to do, or what I do, you don't have to do it, is I kind of want to set my concealer so that it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, it's a little thicker than the foundation, and I just want it to stay put. So what I do, it's called baking. I use my translucent. Now this isn't going to add any color to your face, okay? I'm going to add this right where I put the concealer and I'm just gonna put it on quite heavy where I put the concealer and I'm gonna let it sit there on my face and I'm gonna let it bake I'm gonna let my body temperature bake it to my face all right so I'm just going to let that sit, and then I'll brush away the excess, probably in like five minutes or so. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little of that purple underneath my eyes, okay? Um, I don't like to use a lot of liner under my eye. I feel it closes my eyes off or it makes them appear smaller. I want them to be more open. That, and I kind of like to add a little color underneath. Whatever I'm using, I kind of like to add a little of that color underneath. Just bring a little of it down. So once again, I'm just going to take my crease brush here and I'm going to tap into that dark purple that I used in the corner here. And I'm going to just kind of bring it down underneath my eye. A little color underneath. Like so. See? Makes your eyes pop. Don't be afraid to add color under your eyes. Okay, and I'm going to start in the corner over here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tap it out. Get all that excess off. Okay. Like so. It just adds a little color under there, and if you want to, you can blend it out just a little bit. And soften this up a little bit. Okay. 
Okay. So far, so good. See those colors? Looks really nice. I like it. I like purple. I never used to wear a lot of purple, but I like it now. All right. So now that has set on my face for a little while, so I'm just going to kind of brush away the excess. And you'll notice it kind of has a blurring effect. That powder kind of gives you that Photoshop look. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little contour, and I have been using our bronzer. We have our beachfront bronzer. Um, but I think today I'm going to use our Sculpting Trio, which is specifically made for contouring. It's a cream. These are creams, and then you have a powder here in the middle. And as you can see, I don't use much of the powder, <laughs> but I'll use the creams. Um, so what you want to do is you want to find a contour, either a flat brush like this, this will work, or there is an actual contour brush, any brush. It's not real long, it's dense, and it's really narrow like that. That's a contour brush there. So I'm going to use this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig into this dark color here, all right? And I kind of like to mix mix them, like I'll get some of this shimmery color and I'll mix it in with this darker color. Why not? And you want to start in the middle of your cheek. You don't want to come down here by your mouth. Middle of your cheek and then go up to your ear. And what you're doing is you're creating a shadow. You're creating a hollow in your cheek so that your upper part of your cheek is highlighted and it kind of looks like you have a prominent cheekbone. Okay. So you just kind of suck it in, and you go up to the ear, like so, okay? See? And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side now. I'm going to mix them both together, and I'm going to suck it in, and I'm going to go straight up like so. Okay? Alright, so now I'm going to kind of blend it out a little bit. I'm going to use my sponge to kind of tap it out. Same thing over here. Okay, and you see what that's doing? It's making my face appear thinner. All right. What I also like to do is I also like to add a little color on the side here. Kind of like so. And if you had a really high forehead, this helps shorten your forehead. But mine's covered by bangs, but if your hair was up, you could add it up here along your hairline also. And you want to add it on your jawline. You want to create a shadow, that's what you're doing. So your face appears thinner. And it also helps if you have any loose skin or a double chin under here, it also helps hide that. Okay. And then under here, You want the front of your face to be more noticeable than anything under here, okay? And if you had a wide nose, you'd come down on either side of your bridge with contour so that the top of your nose would be highlighted and be more noticeable and you wouldn't see this part here. But I'm okay with my nose, so I'm just going to leave it alone. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend it out using a sponge once again, spraying it once again, and I'm just going to tap that out. 
it's a thick, thick cream. And I'm gonna tap this out, kind of draw it into your hairline. See what that does? Just adds a little color there, a little contour to your face. All right, and I'm going to do over here. Tap it out. And then you kind of drag it into your hairline. Don't forget, blend it down here. Okay, so there's my contour. Got all that done. So now I want to add a little color to the upper part of my cheeks. So I'm going to use my pressed powder um, blush to do that. Gonna tap it. I've had this since October too. I know I tell you that all the time. Just tapped it. This stuff lasts you a long time because it's real mineral makeup. Real mineral makeup costs more money, but it's better quality and it's gonna last a long time. Okay? And I'm just gonna tap this on the apple of my cheek right here. Same thing over here. Just kind of tapping it on. Okay. So I have that done. So now when I get everything on my face, once again, I like to go in with my setting powder and blend everything together so that there are no harsh lines from my contouring. And a little bit goes a long way with this stuff too. Okay. But it has a blurring effect, seriously. It just makes your face look really, really professionally done. See how smooth? Kind of gives it that airbrush look. All right? And this goes a long way too. Long, long way. All right. So, let's finish our eyeballs. So today, instead of our pencil liner or our liquid liner, I'm gonna show you you can use our cream shadow in the color Magnificent. It's a matte black. As a liner goes on really smooth and look at all that in there. It's gonna last you a long, long time. So what you wanna do, sorry, I gotta take a sip of this. So what you wanna do is you want to get a liner brush like our new liner brush that we have here or where's that other one that I found here's one here's one this one here is just a simple little elf brush here and you just get in there it's like a cream kind of coat both sides of your brush okay And I'm actually going to have to use a mirror. And what I like to do is I like to start in the outer corner. And 
and then I meet it. And when you get older, your eyelids, they get thinner. And what's nice about this cream shadow is it gets, it glides on, number one, and it gets in all those little fine lines and creases. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. You gotta get some of this, Tammy. You gotta get some of this. It's our splurge cream shadow in the color Magnificent. Good stuff. Okay, and I'm gonna start over here again in the corner. Uh, make my way in. Maybe I will use this. But it goes on so smooth. And then I like to start over here. And meet it halfway. It goes on so easy. Look at that. It's just like a liquid, for real. just like a liquid but you're getting down in those little grooves down there by your lashes isn't that nice good stuff now I'm not gonna bring any I guess I could just in the outer corner I don't like to come all the way across I just like to put it here in the corner like so it's a little drama. Magnificent cream shadow. It's not shiny. It's a matte black. And you only need a little bit. And I'm telling you, it goes a long way. This is my new go-to. This is what I'm going to use from now on as my liner. You could even do a wing, probably. could probably do a little wing with this, too. Let me see. Sure you can, see? Sure you can. A little wing action. There you go. Probably not the best wing, but it'll do. Magnificent cream shadow. Perfect for eyeliner. Go to my website and get it. You'll find it under eyes and then scroll down until you find the splurge cream shadows. You can get a set of three of them for $70. You get three colors of your choice for $70. Um, or you can just buy it individually. Okay, so now I'm going to put my Epic Mascara on. I love my Epic Mascara. Favorite mascara in the whole world. I have nothing on my lashes. And here we go. I'm going to do it right in the phone here, so excuse my face. I love this. Now it's coming out with waterproof mascara. We have the color brown now. We have black and brown and waterproof. All right. This is water resistant. You can't go swimming or you can't cry a whole bunch, but now we have waterproof so that you can, and it comes off easily with makeup remover, even the waterproof does. Epic Mascara, it thickens, and it lengthens, and they actually curl upward. This is a straight wand. They just naturally curl upward because of some formula they got in here, I don't know what it is. Okay. See the difference? See the difference? Good stuff. $24. Just $24. And the 
this bright light up here is just shining down on me. I apologize. But you can get a close-up look at that coverage <laughs> from my eyes. All right. Now I'm going to put some on the bottom. one. Nice. Nice way to finish the look. All our makeup is packaged really nice. Like most everything comes with a mirror. Even something as little as this, my highlighter, comes with a little mirror. Okay, we're gonna see how thick they are. Very, very thick. just two coats. If you want to put a third coat on, go right ahead. Go right ahead. So now that everything's done, I'm going to spray so that it stays on. Set my makeup. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to wash my face and take it off. I'll tell you that. I'm going to enjoy my makeup. You know what? I think I'm going to try this highlight. I got this. It's from our Beachfront Kissed Collection. Look at that. Look at that highlight. Look how gold and sparkly it is. You could probably use that on your lid too. Let's try. Let's try putting it on our lid. Oh, let me see. Let's use a little brush like this. This is the first time using it. Ooh, I like. I like that. Are you seeing that? Right in the center there. Pretty. Okay, here we go. Getting kind of nervous. I've never put anything gold on my face before. And this is our sun kissed. I don't know if you can see it or not. See? Highlighter. Woo! Look at how beautiful that is. Nice. And you can find that on my website also. You can get it. You can get the whole collection. It comes with a lip oil. It comes from a waterproof liquid eyeshadow. It comes with this. And then it comes with the body oil, which has got gold sparkles in it. Makes you shimmer. Oh, my God. That's my next goal. Hello, my nose. I like that on the eyes. I really like that on the eyes. I'll be using this again. Nice. Check it out. This is Belize. That's the name of it. Belize. Nice, nice, nice product. 
Okay, Doc. I think we're pretty much done. I don't know what to do with my lips. Um, I got... Let's see. Let's see. Maybe I'll do our Splash Liquid Lipstick in Sentimental. It's kind of a pretty orchid color. I haven't worn lipstick in forever. I should probably exfoliate my lips. They're real, ugh, I don't know. Let me see. I don't know where my exfoliator is, so I'll just use my bonbon. Use my bonbon. Kind of rub it all over. Moisten up that dry skin and then wipe it off. Okay. All right, you should always exfoliate your lips before putting on any lip color, especially the stain because it likes to collect on the dry areas and it will appear darker in those areas. All right, now you don't need a lot of this product. Okay, and I always start with my bottom lip. And you can use the wand or you can use a brush. It's up to you. Again, this color is called Sentimental. It's like an orchid color. It's really pretty. Oh. And this is, where's that one with my concealer on it? Splash Liquid Lipstick. nice so now I'm all done if there's anything anything at all that you have questions on please feel free to message me um, contact me private message me message on here if you're interested in having an online party I can set you up where you can get some free makeup um, I also come to your house yes I do I just did a party last Saturday a bunch of girls let them try my makeup on, and they enjoyed it. They enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. I think I, five women, five women tried my makeup on. I did five women's faces, pretty much. But they all ordered something, and they loved the makeup. And you will, too. And it's just fun to get together with your friends and try new things. So I'm always available for in-home parties, so just let me know. Let me know and I will set you up. All right, that's all I have for you today. This is my first night using my new vanity makeup setting. I don't know if you seen my post last night on Facebook. I got a $7.99 mirror at our local thrift store. And I painted it and I got a light kit. It's got like the sticky lights that you could stick on the mirror. So that's all lit up there in front of me now. And I've got this desk from Amazon. It's just a little two-tier desk. It only cost me like, was it $36? Put it together and you don't need to spend a lot of money, but you need to create a space for you. Seriously. And I'm absolutely in love, in love with my space here. And I plan on doing more lives. Now that I've kind of got my shit together, you know, I'll do more lives and... 
maybe we'll get more familiar with each other and you guys won't be so shy and you'll actually like comment and talk to me while I'm putting on my makeup. Thank you, Tammy, for watching and commenting. I appreciate it. And feel free to share my video, okay? Share my video so that I can network out to other circles, okay? All right, once again, my name is Paula Julson, and if you would like to follow me, go to Paula the Makeup Lady um, on my Facebook, and then just like my page, and then you can request to be added to this um, VIP page, and I'll notify you whenever I go live. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.